go. Hi, we want to talk to you about why you should visit Gettysburg. Um, these are just some nice photos that I took of different areas. Now, the first picture you saw was Devil's Den, which is at the southern end of the Gettysburg battlefield. And the generals involved at that battle were Major General David Bell Bimey, of which is the Union General, and Confederate General Major General John Bell Hood. Why by these names? Um, yeah, so, General Hood was wounded in the artillery fire in the early attacks, and Evander Law was a senior brigade commander, but he wouldn't he, but he wasn't notified of the general's wounding until until late into the attack. The rough terrain of the area and the lack of direction ended up scattering Hood's brigades, some turned north while others continued east. Finally, behind the trees and the walk walls around the slider farm, which you which you can see when you go to Devil's Den. Did we get a picture of that? No. We didn't get a picture of that. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, the two U.S. Sharpshooters Regiment from the 3rd Corps slowed the advance of the Union's brigade. As they retired from the Union's oncoming men, the Sharpshooters drew them east towards the Round Tops. We have photos of those. The Round Tops, which is this, which are the hills in the background of that photo. Or where I took the photo, actually. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's where the photo was taken. That's that's where the photo was taken, so you can see it's a lot on, of the battlefield. It's on the round top. Yeah, so the Union's men, worn out from the long marsh, pushed up Plum Run Valley in pursuit of the short period. I don't know where that is. <laughs> the brigades of General Jerome Robertson and Henry Benning moved toward Devil's Den, and George Anderson's brigade moved through the woods onto the wheat field, which we didn't... Which is a field next to the Devil's Den that is literally a picture in your mind. A, a wheat, wheat field. field. <laughs> that is what it is. It's a wheat field. <laughs> On his own initiative, Colonel Strong Vincent diverted his V Corps brigade to Little Round Top, and Joshua Chamberlain's 20th Maine charged the 15th and 47th Alabama to maintain their hold. The 16th Michigan faltered, but was supported on the last moment by the 140th New York. Now, if you go to Little Round Top, if you... Now, you can't see it from the base of Little Round Top. Like, you gotta hike up to, like, the peak of the mountain, and they have a massive monument for the 140th New York. I don't think we saw that. No, we didn't end up seeing that because it took so long it's to like find way it. Out it's, there. It's, a, it's up there. <laughs> it's up there, but it, we didn't see it. <laughs> um, and together they held off the attacks of the Confederates and their offensive in Little Round Top, Big Round Top area come to a halt at that point. Now, the soldiers engaged in the Union Army were two, well, 2,400 and the Confederate Army, army were 5,500. Which is, this is for Devil's Den. Um, the, the outcome of the victory was a Confederate victory, and this happened on July 2nd in 1863. And major events, which ended up causing, which ended up, this one ended up turning the tide of the battle a little bit. Um, a Major General John Bell Hood of the, of the Confederate Army, was wounded and was forced to yield his command. And the casualties of the Union were 800 and the Confederate were 1800. Nice. Okay, my turn. Uh, this has nothing... <coughs> uh, this has nothing to do with the actual Battle of Gettysburg, but some other things you can see in Gettysburg is the Eisenhower House. President... Dwight D. Eisenhower's house. <laughs> um, he took command of a training camp uh, on the Gettysburg battlefield. This is after the battle. 
Or before. That one would hope it was after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was after. I don't know presidents. It's not my thing. Um, and he began, he becomes Supreme Allied Commander in Europe during World, World War II. And the President of the United States from 1953 to 1961. And uh, following his president presidency, he returned to Gettysburg to live there. Because he wanted to. Uh, and he served on Gettysburg College Boards of Trustees. And he wrote his memoir, memoir in the college's admission art office, which is known today as the Eisenhower House. And if you look at the... Here's when you're walking on, because they have, like, a trail walk. Uh, this is not a very good photo, but this is of a plaque that's there. And then, um, directly across the way, um, when you see it is this, the Eisenhower house. You could, I do believe they have online, have virtual tours of the Eisenhower house that you could look at, like, a 3D house map and go around. And also, I do believe you could visit there and still do that. Um, here's some other things. Uh, there is also the Gettysburg um, Visitor Center. Visit, yeah, it's a yes, visitor, yeah, center. It's the visitor it's center. center. It's a visitor center. <laughs> center that has um, one of the has like the biggest one of the biggest oil paintings. Um, it's the it's one of the biggest three hundred and sixty degree, degree panorama oil paintings. Which you could pay to do um a light show and sound experience, and also there's a movie that you could do there too. But here's our two photos of outside of it. Um, it has um a quote from Abraham Lincoln that says, now we are engaged in a great civil war. I had to take uh, a panoramic is... to get the whole quote in. It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> which is that, it's uh, on the whole wall and it's huge. And this is, which I thought, this is the coolest thing. The belt buckles that they wore um, actually saved a soldier from getting shot in the intestines and having major wounds because it, they almost got shot in the intestines. Um, and this is the actual, the actual belt buckle. Yeah, it's the actual belt buckle from the soldier. From the soldier. So. So, how many days were you guys down in Gettysburg? Uh, we were technically down there three, three days. But it was really only two since the first day when we got down there. I was like... Three in the afternoon, so... Yeah, so, like how much afternoon. did you explore in Gettysburg? We... Like a fourth of it. <laughs> like a fourth of it. So if, you look at, so, if you look at a map of Gettysburg... We should have printed off Yeah, Gettysburg. we should have printed off a map of Gettysburg, but we didn't. Um, so, the town is, like, up here. We only did, like, down there here. There is, uh, where we stayed, because we stayed at a campground, um... There's, we did, like, the bot, the southern. Yeah, we did point. the southern half. There is, um, there's little round top and big round top and devil's den, and there is monuments everywhere. Uh, we did the main strip, and then there's, like, the walkway that's by, that you could see the Eisenhower house from. It doesn't bring you right near the Eisenhower house. You, you gotta take ro different roads to get to it. But there's a whole strip that has a bunch of stuff, and we went up, and there's a lot of hiking stuff to do for the monuments that are in the back of places, kind of like the New York monument that we didn't see, um, and there's also, like, big ones, and there's little ones. A lot of monuments are where they were actually stationed. Like some of the, them aren't because some of, <laughs> some of them aren't because... the, you know, parts of the battles took place on private land, land. yeah. so... Um, so when, you know, the government gained control and turned the battlefield into a national park, they put, you know, they would put, like, small plaques and say, you know, um, say about a mile, like, west of this area, or yeah. 500 or feet east of this area, um, this brigade 
fought the Confederates or something like that. And a lot of a lot of the monuments are for there's a lot of them for the generals. And there's a lot of them, so all the generals have a monument somewhere of them doing a what, fancy pose What general or did you camp, did you stay in? We, uh, we stayed in, uh, on the main road where most of them are, there's a campground. I forget the name of the I campground. I mean, no, it's, 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 um, it's a, it's a well-known campground. It's a well-known Gettysburg campground, and we stayed in cabins. We didn't, um. Because we had dogs with us. We had dogs and things. Uh, some of their cabins are dog friendly. Um, we all the cabins are named after. There's one that's named after President Lincoln, and then all the rest are named after a general. And we did not see his statue. It's kind of upsetting. Oh, general George E. Meade. Interesting fact about him: he was um, because throughout the entirety of the Civil War, if you can't tell, I know a lot about this subject because I have like a solid five-inch thick book on it. Um, it's what she got. This is what I got from. <laughs> um, throughout the entirety of the Civil War, um, Abraham Lincoln kept reappointing generals because all of them were doing such a bad job, and General Meade was appointed to General of the Union Army three days before the battles of, before the Battle of Gettysburg. Awesome. So they did not find his statue. Um, they were down in Gettysburg with my parents, and my parents estimated that they did with a five-mile loop, and oh, it yeah. took them all day. So there's tons to see down there. And so. there's some of the loops are some of the roads are one way, so you'll have to go back and drive up and then take another road past ones that you already seen, and then take <laughs> another road to go to things you haven't so seen. So do you guys recommend <laughs> going to Gettysburg. Yes. Go to Gettysburg, but it tried at least yes. like arrange like an oh, entire like week. week. <laughs> Not week. three days. So you guys gonna go back thing. to Gettysburg? Yeah. Yes. When we go back though, we'll do more of the ghost things. Because it's also <laughs> they have a bunch haunted. of ghost tours. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>